Alison Alti, with other members of the Zoffany Ensemble, played Mozart's Oboe Quartet in F. And the final piece in this diverting concert is by a composer who, like Haydn, mentored Mozart, Johann Christian Bach. Unlike Mozart and Haydn, Bach came to London and stayed for the rest of his life. His three-movement quintet in D is a sparkling conversation between all the members of the Zoffany Ensemble guaranteed to send us off for the rest of our Sunday evening with a smile.
An optimistic ending for Johann Christian Bach's Quintet in D, and the Zoffany Ensemble have given us all, wherever we may be listening, a heartening musical experience. Thanks to Karen Jones, Alison Alti, Manon de Rome, Lydia Lowndes Northcote, and Anthony Pleath for their stylish playing in this gem of a London concert hall of music with so many London connections. In the mid-1760s, a very young Mozart was not only taught in the capital by J.C. Bach, he's also believed to have met Johann Zoffany. The Zoffany Ensemble will be back at Conway Hall in December, by which time we all hope that concert life will have resumed safely. Next Sunday, March the 14th, the Leonora Trio will be here to play music by Haydn and Beethoven. Do take a look at conwayhall.org.uk to check out what's on and make a donation to support this Sunday series. For now, though, it's goodbye from me, Catherine Bott, and good listening. <laughs>